Perhaps there's a time when you would like to get information from a different location and insert it into your database table. Actually, this occurs in the business world all the time, and they swap information from lots of different programs to lots of other different programs. We're just going to do the simple versions of it here, just so you get your feet wet and it won't be a surprise to you. What we're going to do is import data from a text file into our Access database table. Uh, to create a text file, you could either write it in Notepad, probably won't happen, or you could type it in Word, for example, and then go ahead and save it, and after that do File Save As, change the type, and choose Text Type. Let's look at that. If I had, I just made a little garbage file. If I had a file of text, I could do File Save As, and then wherever I'm putting it on my computer, just change it, the type from a .docx to a, I'll have to find out where it is here, .txt will be here somewhere. .txt, right there, plain text, .txt. Let me zoom in there, see? Okay? And then, and then it will save it as a text file. You have to be very careful because you can't, do much formatting at all that way. But it's a way to get data transferred from one place to another. I'm not going to save this. We're working in this exercise with a little notepad file that looks like this. And it has, notice it has column headings, if you will, but they don't look like columns. And that's because since it's a text file, what they did was for each row record horizontally, they put a tab between each of the important features. Do you see the tabs there? All right, all right. So now what we'll do, then let me close it. And you notice that there are four headings. Okay, that's it. Let's go over here into our Access Database. And here we had to create a table in Design View. Let me go down so you can see. That had the same fields in it as the Excel spreadsheet, um, the, the text file did. These are going to become the column headings, aren't they? It's just the opposite direction. If I switch over to the data sheet view, you see that those are the column headings. OK. And I see that I better undo this before I <laughs> Let me pause the tape just a second and get rid of these records for you. So let's see if we can get some data inserted into this. I'll, I'll use Seminar 1. I'm going to go up to external data, and I'm not going to export. I'm going to import. We'll import from a text file, browse to find the name of the text file, and the instructions ask us to append it to the end. So append means to add to the end. There's nothing in there now, but that's OK. The seminar one and you can see the way it looks now and up here we we are using a delimiter to separate each field so that's the right choice doesn't look so great now and now it asks us which delimiter are you using we are using the tab the computer was able to figure that out one important thing to do is to see that we, we choose that where it says first row contains field names. So look, right now the first record, the first row, is not the same as the rest. But if I choose to make first row contains field names, watch what happens. See, now those are field names, those are, are column headings instead. Okay, that's really tricky and it's easy to miss. If you miss it, you'll get an error message. And then we'll put it in that. There we go. And it says, now we're finished. Do you want to save the import steps? No, thanks. We'll click close. Now, if we open it, you can see that we have those same headings across the top. And then we have all of our data in there. If we had had an error, we would have the seminar import errors. And it would tell us here that we had a type conversion error in the 
hours field in row one. Ah, trick, row one. That means there's something wrong with the headers. You can delete those when you're done with them, you know, these export errors. But that's a common mistake. And so if, if you get that, just delete what there is, you know, delete the rows like this. Delete. And then close, close the table. Try again. You'll get it. 